My name is Grant. This is my dog Susie. Follow us as I rehab my 1978 Irwin Mark III sailboat. Hey, my name is Grant. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves on a Perkins 4108 diesel engine. All right, so here we go. First thing I did was get a big wrench on the front of my engine so I can bar my engine over. And what I've done is I barred it over so my exhaust valve comes up and my intake valve is just getting ready to go down. So I'm moving my wrench. You can see those moving. All right, exhaust valve comes up. My intake valve is just starting to go down. Once I find that position, I'm just marking a mark to help me. This doesn't mean it's top dead center or anything. This just means that this is where my mark is. So where, when you are in this overlap position with cylinder number one, you come down to cylinder number four, and this is where you check the valve adjustment, or what the lash is. Lash meaning um, slop or free space. For this engine, this is Perkins 4108, it is 0.012 thousandths of an inch. So I just push it in between the top of my valve and my rocker and it fits fine. I like the feeling of it. There's no play in it. And I check my other valve. Again, there's no play in it. I know that number four cylinder is just fine. So I'm going to put a little mark here, my little mark there, to let me know that I've adjusted the valves on number four. Now I'm going to rotate that engine, uh, I believe 180 degrees. I will confirm that. And then I'm going to adjust the next set of valves. I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, so all I've done is rotated my mark from here to down here. So it's a half a turn. Come on. And by that half turn, I have put these valves in overlap. You see my exhaust going down, my intake, my exhaust, my intake, my exhaust. So that means these valves, cylinder number three is an overlap, which means I can adjust my valves for cylinder number two. This one sounds really loose. So I'm gonna do that. So again, all I'm looking at is to make sure, one, I can get the 12,000 fuel gauge in there. There's some resistance and there's no slop in it. Again, you want the resistance or you want the, to rub when you're moving this gauge in and out. This one here is really sloppy. I, I can just, you'll be able to tell the difference. I can almost make it move. So we're gonna readjust this one. This one's fine. Okay, we got this one adjusted. You can see there's a little bit of resistance on there, how it's just not really smooth. That's what we want, we want some resistance in there. Again, there's no movement. You take it out and it's free. So, Number two is adjusted now. So all we're gonna do is rotate the engine another 180 degrees, yeah, 180, and then we'll check the next set. Okay, so I marked these here. So I know number two is done, number four has been done. So I'll have either number three or number one. Don't know which one we have. So I've moved 180 degrees again. So now we're back up on top. So we're just gonna move it back and forth, and what do we get? If we watch number four there, we can see the intake and exhaust overlapping, right? If we look at number three, which we haven't adjusted yet, you only see one valve, you look at number one and number two, we are not in overlap. So by these two valves moving, the intake and exhaust, cylinder number four, that tells me we can adjust the valves for number one. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Okay, number one's done. Number two is done. Number four is done. So all we have to do is number three. And how do we get there? We turn that 180 degrees. And that should put number... I'm not sure what number. One of them is going to be an overlap. And I lost it. Okay, so number two is an overlap. See both valves moving there? Number one, you only got one valve moving. Number four, you only got one valve. Number three has yet to be adjusted. There's no movement. And number two has two valves moving, so no one now an overlap. My mark is at 180 degrees, or it's down below. I can move just a little bit. There it is. So now, you can adjust the valves number three, and you'll be done. Again, it's 0 0.012 thousandths of an inch for a Perkins 4108. Both valves, both sides. Um, if you don't believe me or trust me, look in the manual. That's how you adjust the valves on a Perkins 4108 Marine Diesel. Hopefully this video helps you out and you learned something from it. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and make a comment. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching.